It is a fall tradition for so many families, a visit to the pumpkin patch. But what goes on long before we show up with our wagons? How do you grow a great pumpkin? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. Just east of Wyoming. We've been here since 10 o'clock this morning. Is a corn playground next to blank orange canvases. We're bringing a bag home to paint today. On a 40 acre labor of love. I used to bring my kids here when they were that little. We're starting over, <laughs> doing it again. <laughs> Just like the pumpkins. Well, you're starting from scratch every single year. Every single year, that's true. Yeah. Val Whitner owns Lens Pumpkin Patch. My customers are always amazed that we didn't put them there. Can you imagine? There's 40 acres here. We did not put them there. They grew there, and they have to pull the vine off of the stem. All of these pumpkins started as single seeds that Val planted herself back in the beginning of June. I get this question every year <laughs> and very many times. People think that pumpkins grow in the weeds mm -hmm. and that when this pumpkin rots, that next spring it will just come back another pumpkin. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? Once the seeds sprout, the plant gets bigger and bushier and starts to send out vines. By early July, there's a flower. The flower opens one day for about four hours. Mm -hmm. It needs to be pollinated. Which is why Lentz has bees on site. Yeah. Right behind the flower, once it's pollinated, it starts growing a pumpkin and just gets bigger and bigger. The, the flower dies and falls off and pumpkin just keeps growing. Many varieties start out green before turning the color of Halloween. That's when the leaves start falling, exposing the pumpkins for everyone to pick their own. Hey Bear, can you tell me which is your favorite pumpkin? So what happens to all the pumpkins that don't get sold? I love that question. <laughs> we leave them here and they get disked in in the fall and it is good for the ground to have that rotten matter. She does a lot of work yes, out here. Yes, she does. She does a ton of work to make this a very nice place. Do you like pumpkins? <laughs> What's your favorite part about doing all of this? <gasps> Heather Brown. I love talking to people. <laughs> WCCO. All the way till November 1st and then not so much. Four News. That cute. little boy didn't want to talk to Heather, though. No. He said no. <laughs> a lot of cute kids in that story. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, as you can imagine, Lens is open seven days a week this time of year, all the way up until October 31st. And like many pumpkin patches, uh, truly is a family endeavor to keep things going. Yeah, Val's three daughters work there, and her brother-in-law does the spraying, fertilizing, cultivating, and plowing. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com links. But Val was thrilled to see the